Hello, this is Willy Booger. Uh, today I wanted to do a little review on what some of the sounds are in the PV Viper Pro 100. Uh, this is an excellent amp. It's really made to, to really fill the need. If you got, you can play electric guitar through it, an acoustic electric uh, bass guitar, and it has the amp modeling capabilities to model those amplifiers that complements those instruments. So let's just go on here. Today's not a lesson in how to use it. It's more so a quick little idea of what some of the sounds are in the amps. You you have all kinds of options on this amp. Different reverbs, you got different delays, you got flangers, the list goes on and on. And so for the for today's the sake of simplicity, uh, I'm just going to select a few models of the amps. I'm going to do the clean model and then the distorted model and with just a little bit of reverb and that's it. So you can kind of get an idea of, oh, okay, that's the sound. And if you like a lot of delays and flangers and such and choruses, yeah, you know, you, you're, they're very good, but to, for me to do a demonstration on every detail, it would take you know, quite a long time. So let's just cover the basics of the amplifiers for electric guitar. And I'm gonna uh, tell you what they are, but first let's, let's just take a look at the front panel here and see what we got, and then we'll can look at the back panel. Okay, this is the front panel here. You can see the Model 1, Model 2, Model 3, and you can select the different amplifiers they are right there. On this particular time period, it's 6505, and you can, that's the red distorted. If it's green, then it's the clean, cleaner sound. Um, of course, you got the mode select, you push edit, and you can edit those, pull up stomp boxes, uh, go into your, your reverb and your delays and such, flanger courses. And then you got to tap tempo. Now, also a cool thing is, is you have a built-in tuner. You just hold that for the tuner. And of course, you have your pre, uh, kind of like your distortion gain level right there. And your basic tone stack, which is the low, mid, and highs. And then your post. And different amplifiers can have different volume levels. If you, especially if you got them saved up, you can switch different sounds and it won't get louder or quieter. You can adjust that so they work together. Of course, there's your master, your overall sound. Uh, this amp is very loud, uh, definitely. You have your aux in if you want to play along with some music, some backing tracks, and then your headphones. And then that's you can do your, your bank presets and all that. You can scroll using that knob. It's two, two knobs in one. Uh, of course, you got a standby on this amplifier, too. So let's look on the back side now. Uh, you have a power sponge setting, which is very cool, like a tube amplifier. If you had a, a low wattage tube amp and you turned it up really loud, the, the tubes are, you're going to hear a different flavor, like a, a lot of good saturation and harmonics. It'll act a little different. So this is, you can adjust that here to kind of get that emulated effect on how it's going to act as if it was a, a different wattage tube amp. Uh, of course, you can disable enable or defeat this speaker. So if you're on stage and you wanted to line out to a mixer board uh, or in a recording, you can do it that way and set your level. Also, you got an effects loop, send and return. And uh, if you want to run out some uh, effects, which there's a whole lot of effects built in, but if you have one particular different sounds or something you want to run it out to, you can do it that way. Of course, you got your MIDI out capabilities, your MIDI, your foot switch MIDI in, and of course USB if you want to run it out to do some uh, some recording. Uh, straight straight in recording with USB. All right, it's got a Stevens 12 inch speaker. It has a really wonderful sound and it is voiced to handle the lower frequencies of a bass and uh, the nice highs of your electric guitar or acoustic electric. All right, let's get it going here. The 6505 clean. So here we go. <laughs> This is the 6505 and the red distorted. <laughs> Thank you. 
classic 50 here in red, and I'll, I'll probably stick to, I'll go to the neck and then eventually the bridge, back and forth here. distortion mode, the red mode. I'll go ahead and use the bridge. <laughs> Track. Uh, this backing track, you can download it anywhere, Amazon, iTunes, everywhere. Uh, so if you're interested in some backing tracks to, to work on some of your leads, some of your licks, your chops, hey, it's a good way to do it. Um, I still play along with them. It's how I keep my, my fingers going, get, get them in good shape. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me on this, uh, just for taking out a few moments here, listening to some sounds of the PV Viper. Pro 100. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get started and, and see what it sounds like with, in a mix, in an actual uh, playing along with a backing track. So let's get it going. Mm -hmm. 